All right, here's what you've wanted. Sid gives his sincerest greetings and wanted you to know it's useless to him anyways. Okay. Don't come back unless you like the taste of lead. I do not. It tastes pretty terrible. All right. Well, that actually went to plan. Hello? Hey, thanks for dealing with those sin guys. Real ugly bastards. I've seen worse before, I think. Anyways, the name is Vox. I'm the mechanic around these parts. If you need anything repaired or fine-tuned, such as suits and weapons, I can do it for a price. Though I'll be sure to give you a nice discount after what you've done for me. Ah, oh, okay, sweet. Another random text? Why do random people keep texting me or something? If you don't want to get into trouble, try not to swing your guns in front of every idiot. Of course, alright. Excellent. Who's your lucky day, Fox? Okay, Mark one, listen, I found out some more about this Strelok character, so you have a choice. I'm waiting for you here in my hole, but if you're too lazy to, turn, to return back to me and get your reward, you can go to garbage right now. I think I want my reward. You people are creepy. Yeah, the reward after all of that work is probably pretty damn good. Oh my god, it's so dark. It's so freaking dark. I don't like any of the things I'm hearing in the distance. I just heard yelling. Hopefully they didn't spot me. Can I get up over here? Yeah, okay. Here we go. I thought maybe I'd have to go through the tunnel, which I do not want to do. It might be clear of zombies, but it's not clear of dangers. Let's go take an energy drink. There we go. Holy crap! I just scaled a chain link fence with barbed wire at the top. <laughs> I'm just expecting a random bloodsucker to come up to me. Fucking bloodsuckers. sprint anymore. Could take another energy drink, but I should probably just save it. Holy crap, what is that? Your view really goes wonky when you run out of stamina. It's almost like you're drunk again. What have you got in there? Don't mean to uh, 
disturb you, but it looks like your computer is blue screening back there. At least it was. Now it seems to be back to normal. I saved Vox, so uh, what now? Hey, good job with that. He came by to say hi, and I didn't even see a hole in his body. Alright, so you found something out about the Strella character, huh? There is a stalker out there that goes by that name. Some say he's found a passage to the north of the zone. I'd like to find out how he got there myself. It's in an unexplored area, probably filled with many artifacts. The other traders and I will help you find him. And then maybe you'll discover the hidden pathway too. This will be good for all of us. You will kill Strelok, while we will open up the way to the north. Personally, I don't think you'll find him, but there is a chance you'll succeed where most have failed. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> exactly. Alright, so where can I start? Stalker named... Sarai? Knows about him? Ah, he's in the garbage. Okay. So what about my reward, huh? Thousand money, two medkits, bandages, mineral water. Uh, that... Maybe that wasn't worth it. Oh, wait, was that for killing the zombies? Did I never turn that in? I'm not quite sure. It says Camp Elimination, so I don't think that was the uh, mission I just did. Uh, let's see if I can afford anything. It really does seem like I don't need this food, so I think I'm going to dump most of it. I'll just keep the bread, because it doesn't weigh very much. Yeah, it's fine. And I'll keep a couple of waters. Mostly for the weight is why I'm trying to get rid of it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. 8,900. I can actually buy something with that. Hell, I could buy an AK. Do you have ammo for it, though? I believe this is ammo for it. I can! I can get ammo for it. Okay, it's in good condition. Let's see how it compares to, say, this. It's actually less accurate. It does more damage. In fact, it seems kind of terrible. It's In fact, it's worse in almost every way except damage. Huh, that's weird. I wonder if I can get a scope for it. If I can, I obviously can't get it from this guy. Hmm. Maybe I should just save up for the Merc suit. I probably should. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably just save up for a Merc suit. Good hunting, stalker. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Batteries? Yeah, I should probably get some batteries. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think now it's time to go to sleep. Let's uh, set up camp here, right in the uh, stairs. What time is it? It's almost midnight, so let's go ahead and sleep for... Oh, eight hours is max. That's perfect. Good night. Dear God, man, wake up! Oh, I guess I have to press a button. <laughs> Alright. It's a little bit foggy today. But at least I can kind of see. I'm still going to turn on my light anyway. Oh, I need food. I need water, too.
Yeah, so where's this guy that can fix my stuff? Is he here? Oh, that's you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Hey, Fox. Can you tell me something interesting? Days fly long. Uh, days fly along over here, but as they say, time flies when you're having fun. I, I guess, but still, it feels a bit strange. Rising your repair stuff, right? Hmm, I have a few things which need tweaking. Whoa. This is a new menu. No, there is an upgrade system! <gasps> yes! Please tell me it doesn't require tools. I'm going to love this forever if it does not require me to find tools to get these upgrades. Because <laughs> that was the biggest bitch. Finding all those damn tools. Okay. I can even upgrade my leather jacket. You repair it for 142. Yeah, might as well repair it. I don't know what the hell's up with these. These look like they are meant to say something else, but they kind of errored out. Yeah, let's repair that. Alright, so what kind of upgrades can I... Oh, shit. Did I just buy it? No, I... You have to press that button to buy it. Okay. Whoa, I can get a night vision device installed. Increases burn. Protection by 6%. Rupture protection by 6%. Wait, I can get a freaking night vision thing installed for only 420? You gotta be kidding me. That's way too easy. Come on. That should be like 10 times more expensive. That's nothing. I guess I'll get it. Wow. I wonder if that eats up batteries. Probably does. Do I want to upgrade my shitty weapons? Not really. Nah, there's no, no use spending money on minor stuff like this. Not unless you're going to be using it for a long time. I wonder if I could, like, get a scope by doing this. Or if that's totally separate. Don't know. Alright, so night vision works now? Yes, it does. And it doesn't even look like it uses up power? I don't see a power meter. Not sure how much it actually does. Doesn't seem terribly effective. I'll have to try when it's actually nighttime, though. Okay, well, I think it's time to go to garbage. Which is. Where? Darkscape. Oh, garbage, it's uh, right on ahead. Oh, yeah, it's always up there. Why am I moving? Oh, he's pushing me. I almost want to go to the right just to see what the hell Darkscape is, but <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, let's just go on ahead. Okay, it's time for a long trek. I love how the weather differs all the time. Sometimes it's partially overcast, other times it's a foggy, cold morning. I can practically feel the coldness, you know? Like I can feel the damp seeping into my skin. Into my clothes. It just feels cold. Why is there a... It's like an invisible flashlight right here. Interesting. I think I saw a dude going for his morning jog, too. There he is. Yeah, preparing for that, uh, that marathon. Keep at it, man. 
I'm sure you'll do great. I'm actually worried that this... This might be too easy. I mean, you seem to be drowned in food. And water as well, and you just like eat one thing and that restores your whole meter. It doesn't cost very much. You can get night vision for your crappy suit for like 400, which is basically nothing. Yeah, I'm actually worried it might be too easy. I kind of wish I selected the higher difficulty now. I'm not sure if it would actually increase that stuff. Like, I don't know if it makes stuff cost more, or... Maybe you need more food, or if it just, like, increases the difficulty of enemies, but... Can you change the difficulty after the fact? Or do, would you have to start a new game to do that? Oh no, you can. Let's actually go ahead and set it to Veteran. Yeah. I don't have a mark on my map, do I? There we go. Alright, is there anything to explore up here that I have not? This is that shitty shack with the bandits. What the hell is that noise? You hear the strangest stuff in the zone. Yeah, it looks like there's a little building right there, but other than that, it doesn't seem like there's anything... Anything notable. Was that a rat? Uh... Uh... I am being mobbed by rats. Oh shit. This is not very effective against rats. Come on, I know you're there. Oh god. I need, like, a flamethrower to take them on. They actually would be really hard to shoot with a gun, wouldn't they? I mean, they're so small. They don't have anything on them ever, do they? Ah, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, Jesus! Ah! Okay, I don't hear any more. Ah, oh, listen to that, you can hear the wind whistling through this 
gaping hole in this building. Wonderful sound design. Just wonderful. I think I actually did hear a rat in the distance. Well, probably more than one. Is that... I think I'm staring through the earth. <gasps> I think that's... Yeah, I'm staring out the bottom of the earth. It's like a missing polygon there or something. This is horrible. I'm uninstalling this immediately. For shame. I wonder if I could demand money from the bandits. I did just take care of their rat problem. They should be thankful. Well, I mean, I guess I haven't taken care of the entire rat problem until I've killed the bandits as well. Bumch. Ooh. Is it? Oh shit! I was about to say that's a fire anomaly. That's not an anomaly. That's a poltergeist. Oh fuck me. If they're anything like they are from Misery, then it is going to be rather difficult to kill. You can kill them. What was that? Thought I heard something. Anyway, uh, yeah, you can kill them. They, they are beings. You can actually shoot them. I'm hearing footsteps. I swear, I'm hearing some fucking footsteps. Is it my own? I don't know. One day we decided to sneak up to the monoliths there at Delina. But because there are thousands of them and only two of us, we decided to try our luck and befriend the bandits. To Wait, where are you stored? I want to read you. Where did you go? Oh, here we go. We decided to try our luck and befriend the bandits. Totally stoned, in clear sweatpants, we started telling them that they promised us a meeting and can we come in. They bought it, lol. <laughs> we took what we found in and ran away quickly. These morons don't even know we robbed them. Good for you, Vladimir Wonka. Whoa! Hello! I didn't expect to find that in there. Radiation and increases my bulletproof cap. Okay, so that seems kind of terrible, but it is worth a thousand. My little jellyfish. Not one you'd want to use, but it's worth a pretty good amount of money. Nice chunk of change. I swear I'm hearing footsteps. I hear footsteps. Oh yes, I hear footsteps. Is that a pseudo dog? Or just a dog? Nice and easy. Pfft. 
<laughs> what the hell is wrong with them? Jesus fucking Christ, that scared me. Fucking hell. Note to self, do not stand in... Do not stand in front of him. Oh, fuck. Well, I got lucky with those, that's for sure. Normally they're not so easy to kill. Alright, back to the road. I knew I heard footsteps. This doesn't, have, this doesn't have too much radiation. Wait, this isn't like... Is this where I crashed from the intro? This actually might be where I... Whoa, holy fucking shit! Um... Is that from the poltergeist? This seems kind of similar to the scene where I crashed. I was amongst a bunch of bodies. I wonder if it is. I don't know, I'd have to watch the intro back again. Well, it doesn't seem to be actively coming for me, other than the geyser of uh, fire that it tried to shoot at my head that one time. Shit. Is it that easy? Like, three or four shots from my little BB gun? And this is set on veteran? It is set on veteran. What's my food doing? Oh, it's perfectly fine. Stalker, you are in military territory. Keep on the road and you will be safe. Wander off the path and you will meet your maker. Okay. Okay, they're red to me. Uh, let's put this away. I'm staying on the path. Hello. Good day, sirs. Good day. <laughs> they're listed as enemy, but they're not shooting me. Tell me something interesting. I just want to get back to my wife alive. That's all I care about. Fair enough. Goodbye. Staying on the road. Right on the road. Not a single atom of my body will leave this road. Oh, I'm very familiar with that sign. It means there's mines. You can tell because it says mines. Hmm. Ah, shit, I can't get up there, can I? 
it's too tall. No, I want to know what's in there. There's boxes. One more try. Oh, wow. That actually worked. Hmm, ammo. Army first aid kit and some ammo for my pistol. Cool. You choose wisely, stalker. Or, you chose wisely, stalker. Good luck. Now, if I remember right, didn't you used to get robbed when you went up here? Are there some asshole bandits that rob you? Pretty sure there are. I wonder if they kept that for Lost Alpha. Kinda hope they did and kinda hope they didn't. It's annoying, but... I suppose it's fun to kill them. Let's see if it happens. Respond to the call for help. Uh, what call? Huh? Oh shit, someone needs help right up there. Alright, I should probably make more perma saves. Because I don't think I've made one this entire time I've been playing. Hmm, maybe the bandits that steal your stuff are gone. Yeah, I don't remember any of this here. Jesus, those noises. Hello? Hey, uh, what do you need help with? There's a sniper positioned on the bridge up ahead, and he keeps shooting down anyone that passes by. Bastard's good, too. He doesn't miss. Hmm. How can we get rid of him? <laughs> Shoot him, of course. <laughs> Problem is getting in a good position and having the proper weapon. There's an AK in the greenhouse in the village up ahead. If you sneak by using junk as cover, you might be able to get a clean shot and sh down the bastard. Who is walking to my right? It's making me nervous because I can't see them, but they're apparently not dangerous because they're not shooting me. Okay. Uh, AK in the greenhouse in the village up ahead. Gotcha. Hello? Hey, Andrzejnowik. Well, I can't even pronounce. I'm not even going to try. I'm done. Harmonica. Oh, wait. Do you have money? No, so I guess I can't sell on this. Nah. What's down here, by the way? Excuse. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh god, what have I got myself into? Maybe I don't want to go down here. What am I doing? I mean, he was blocking my way, so I'm thinking maybe I wasn't even supposed to get down here. I'm going to assume I wasn't supposed to get down here and leave just in case I caused scripting errors. Maybe I'll ask for my help to, like, clear this place out later. Okay, greenhouse, village up ahead.
Oh, did they mark it? Oh, they did. Okay. Is that the sniper? Yeah, it's the sniper. Okay. So use junk as cover. Let's go around the back and I suppose come out here. Go this way. Let's do it. Hope I don't get shot in the head. I hear voices. Let's go completely around the back. Oh shit, those are enemies. They are shooting at me. Let's mess with their minds. I'm gonna go around the other way. Or maybe I'll shoot them from above. Nah, it's too far away. My weapons are not particularly long range. Both armor piercing. Whoa, were they coming up here? They sound close. Where's my armor piercing stuff? Here we go. There we go. Yeah, I think maybe they moved to where they saw me. Shit, they did. I might break my legs going down there. Oh, he's going back. I was gonna say, that sounded like a grenade. Thankfully, he came up short. Fuck it, I'll turn my light on. They know where I am. <sighs> Ow. Isn't there one left? I thought there was. Hello? Maybe that's it. Oh, shit. Jesus, how did I not hurt myself? Ooh, is that a viper? Where's your weapon? It's a pistol. Alright, now we've got two. Let's unload that. I might have a decent amount of ammo for it now. No, I don't. I have three of that, eight of that, and I have three up here. Let's just dump that out, actually. Useless. Okay. Let's 
continue on back here. I'm pretty sure if you actually go up on the garbage, you get a horrible amount of radiation. Let's try it. At least you will if you go deeper in. Hmm. I think. Yeah, yeah, let's avoid it. In fact, I've... Oh, shit! That's a lot more than I thought I was getting. Holy crap. Um... Let's get really drunk! <sighs> Lovely. What a better state to be in to avoid being sniped in the head. And to be stealthy. <laughs> what could go wrong? Do do do. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Not sure I can clear these buildings in the state I'm in. Let's just go for the weapon. I think I feel sick. There it is. Oh my god, I seriously do feel sick. Oh, please stop. Even my view is drunk in the cutscene. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm assuming this thing is loaded, right? Because it didn't come with any spare ammo. This thing doesn't even have a scope. I'm supposed to take out a sniper with a scope without having a scope. And I've got 30 shots to do it. And I'm drunk as hell. Alright. Can I just come up behind him? I mean, it looks like he's looking this way. He's looking like south. Towards the road. I mean, if we're going to get into a range battle of who can hit who first, he's going to win. Because, again, he has a scope. I don't. My god, how long does this drunkenness last? Should have taken the anti-radiation drugs. Oh, thank god. Shit, is he? I think he's looking at me. Fuck. No, he's not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Run! Oh, he's on me. Oh, yeah, he's on me. And he's moving. Okay, you want to lose the high ground, I'll take it. Thank you. The only way I'm going to win this comfortably is if I get close to him. Because then his advantage is gone. It also helps that he's marked on the map so I know exactly where he is.
somewhere in the underbrush. <laughs> Damn. Almost got me there. Whoa, what the hell? That's new. That was most certainly not in the original game. A vision. I either made my own way over here, well, possessed by the vision, or I was teleported. I wonder if it's saying I should go in there. Even if it is, I don't really want to follow its suggestion. Let's go back and get my reward. And I want, I want to loot this guy's body, too. He does have a sniper rifle, after all. Tomocha Zadowinski. Or Zadowinski G. Is that a J at the end? Well, anyway. Alright, where's your weapon? There it is. Ah, it's an AKM, but it just happens to have a scope. Well, hell, that is a thing of beauty. I'm glad I didn't buy one at the store. Let's uh, unload my old one. Don't have much ammo. Not much at all. Beautiful. <gasps> Beautiful. Don't much care for the scope view, though. I wish it was just all scope and I didn't have to stare at the outside part of it. It's interesting, though. It does um, allow you some situational awareness, because you can actually see outside of the scope. And I don't actually remember if the Stalker game, or this Stalker game, ever had bullet drop. And regardless of whether it did or not, I suppose I could have changed it and lost alpha. Might have to test that. Now that I have a gun that's long enough range for that to actually matter. There's anything inside of there. I suppose I couldn't get into it anyway, though. SOS Stalkers. I'm on the road near the landfill on the left from the pump station. Life and death situation. Wait, what? Shit, where's it showing again? Uh. Oh, message history, yeah. Near the landfill. On the left from the pump station. Landfill, pump station. I have no idea where that is. Landfill. I mean, that's got to be at garbage, right? Where's the pump station? Is that the pump station? Might be. It doesn't actually say. Alright, well, let's go get my reward. be bandits.
Let's surprise them. Everyone loves surprises, right? Let's go for the guy on the right first. What kind of ammo do I have? Normal? Do I want armor piercing? Nah, normal will be fine. At least if I hit him in the head, it will be. That guy's not even moving. What the hell? Oh, he's actually not an enemy. Whoa, what's with the accuracy on this thing? Holy shit. I don't know if I can snipe people in the head with this. Ow, that hit me. Heard that one. Oh, I know there's more. Wait, maybe this is the guy with the SOS. Might be. Yeah, how many? Shit, I didn't really count them. I think there were three. And I think I only killed two. Alright, where's the third one? Unless maybe I was counting the one that's not actually an enemy. Nope, I heard him. I think he maybe fell down. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, wait, what? <laughs> um, okay, I was gonna say, it looks like you're inside of an anomaly, so, let, hold on. Yeah, you're inside of a freaking anomaly, dude. I hate him when they're wounded and they're not dead. I always feel bad for them. I mean, he's a bandit, though. There's no way I can save him, though. I mean, he's inside of an anomaly. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna put him out of his misery. Does this do what I think it does? Yeah, that's weird. So if you have two different ammo types and you don't quite have a full magazine, see right now I have like 10 shots of the normal ammo and then 7 shots, if you look in the bottom right, uh, 7 shots of the armor piercing stuff. If you press reload right now, it switches to the other ammo type just because you don't actually have a full clip. Whereas normally you have to press Y to switch ammo types. The problem is if you do that though, it actually for some reason takes your ammo out of your like belt. See, when I switch. Now it's gone. Now I can't switch again because it's kicked it out. I have to put it back in. It's weird. Very strange. Alright, are you the one that SOS'd? Thanks, mate. I thought I would never leave here alive. Lucky for me, you were close. Never good to be wandering alone. I can guide you somewhere if you need it. No, don't worry. I can take it from here. I can't thank you enough for saving my life, so please, take this artifact. I hope it'll be useful to you. Thanks. Be careful out there. Bye! He just gave me an artifact, didn't he? He did! Thank you very much. Increases my endurance and lowers my electric shock resistance. Endurance. Endurance. Isn't that... Yeah, that's the kind that allows you to run further, isn't it? Can I wear it? Oh, you put him in... Okay, you put him up here with your ammo and all that stuff. That's how that works. Yeah, it takes down my electric shock resistance, but that's fine. I mean, just don't get hit by, well, electric shocks. <laughs> yeah, it should allow me to run further. I think. I believe that's what endurance does. 
Anyway, right, I came back to go here. Oh, sh yeah, it's gonna be fucking covered in radiation. And I need to loot the bodies. I forgot about that. Hmm, silenced pistol. Could be useful if stealth was worth a damn in this game. You can put your gun down now. The bad men are gone. God, this is so cool. Look at this. I mean, just look at the uh, attention to detail that's been put into the environment. I really love what they've done with it. I mean, I don't remember exactly how it was and precisely what's changed, but I'm pretty sure this is... It's been changed quite a bit, I think. I mean, look at this rift in the earth. This downed tree that forms a, a rough bridge. It's not a comfortable bridge, though, you know? Because I'm worried about falling off of the tiny branches towards the end. So it perfectly adds to the unease of the stalker environments. And these mounds of garbage. Just, ah, wonderful. Wonderful environments. Hmm, can I get in there? Yeah, but there's nothing in it. Oh shit, oh shit, get away from this radiation! Okay, took care of your little problem there. Bez? Medkit bandages, anti-radiation drugs, and some ammo. Oh, that's ammo for the AK, isn't it? Thank you, much appreciated. Tell me something interesting. I'm not really up to date with all the latest news. Well, fine. Screw you and screw your mustache. It's a glorious mustache, I'm just jealous. I've tried to grow one of my own. I even put fertilizer on my face, but it just won't grow. Right, what did I actually come here for? Right, to go here. That's what I came here for. Whoa. Can I actually walk in this thing safely? Yes, okay. What if I can loot his body? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let's plop that ammo up there. Alright, let's dump some of this pistol stuff. I don't think I'm going to be using my shotgun anytime soon. Let's dump that stuff, too. Not that I need the room, but... Eh, I don't need it. Don't need it up there. Alright, we got a ways to go. And a lot of places to see along the way. It's a pretty good place to end the episode. Yeah, I'm really loving Stalker Lost Alpha so far. I love the changes they've made so far. It's, um, you know, it's familiar enough that I still recognize it, of course. Since I have played through the original Stalker at least two times, I think. I think at least two times, yeah. So I still recognize these places and remember a bunch of stuff, but it's been changed a lot. So it's a, it's a mixture of, oh, I remember that, and also, was that in the original? And, you know, have they changed this? And they just added a lot. A lot of cool stuff. It's really impressive. I think the only problem I have with it so far is just the, the lack of difficulty. I mean, it's too easy. My god, it's too easy. They just throw food into my face. I mean, they practically feed me. They practically force feed me with food. It's like, here's here's 20 gallons of soup and canned corn. And you just eat one piece of bread and boom, now I'm fed for like the entire day. It's just a bit too easy. Yeah. So, I mean, I've turned it to veteran, and we'll see how that goes. I mean, maybe I'll turn it to master, but 
I have a feeling that difficulty setting is actually not going to affect the food and stuff like that. I'm guessing it probably only affects enemy difficulty. But, we'll see. I'll see if I can find some information on the difficulty and what it affects. Because I might just turn it to master. Oh, this guy is preparing for a marathon too. Morning jog. Wait, is it actually morning? It's not morning, it's midday. <laughs> midday jog. I believe in you. Keep training, sir. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.